Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video was requested by Maria Yates and this is basically going to be me at bee hunting. Simple as that. It might bore the absolute life out of you, but we'll get there. So I'm going to start off with Shanma. Oh my god, yes. Until the 25th of the April, every horse you wake has 1.5 times more chances to find aging points. Now that's what I would like to wake up to every day with this, because it's such a nightmare to do otherwise. So first off, I'm just going to check that all my horses are actually boarded because some of them have unboarded. Um, I had a huge amount of horses that had unboarded themselves and I was having to go in and basically reboard them all because I couldn't AP hunt for a couple of days because of that, because I had so many unboarded. So I'm nearly back to a thousand horses now. Um, I managed to do a thousand yesterday, but that's including some other horses that I just trained daily, so not actual AP hunters themselves. So we'll just put these horses in for as long as we can. So the first thing I usually do is whenever I start to AP hunt is I check actually how many APs I've got to start with. So that gives me a rough idea of how many I'm actually getting um, from that. I just actually need to sell something here because I'm running out of Aquas. So, so otherwise I'm not going to be able to board the rest of these so we'll just quickly do that. And the reason I tend to check each morning uh, whether any of them have unboarded is purely because if I let them on board and then there gets to be quite a large amount that I have to reward, it's just a pain. Simply as that. I have a feeling my computer is going to start overheating with this, but anyway. It's usually alright if I'm just AP hunting, but it's because I have to record the screen and that. It tends to start getting a wee bit funny, so it goes a bit odd, and I think it is because I can hear it. Uh, okay, so we're starting on 315. This is all I'm going to literally do is go through. What I usually do whenever I AP hunt is I listen to music because I just find it kind of makes the time pass easier. I don't try to count the horses I go along. I Usually what I do is I think of a number that I want to reach with the agent points and I focus on that. And yes, my computer is going to immediately start over. Um, Trying to think, is there a way I can maybe get it to behave itself? I'm not really sure. Probably not. But anyway. Um, so, like, if I usually, from doing this a lot, I usually have a rough idea of how many I'm going to get from AP hunting. So, what I'll say to myself is, right, okay, I want to get to 3,100, and that's what I do. I'll go through until I get that. Now, obviously, I have a limit of 1,000 horses to do that with. That's usually what I do. The fact that we've done like 20 horses and my computer's already decided that it's not it's not going to cooperate today, I don't think. Yeah, you can probably hear that noise now, that's the fan. I'm trying to think I left it and maybe it cooled out a little bit. We'll see anyway. So I mean, it's not, um, it is tedious, but I try not to think of it as being tedious. I try to think of what, what the goal that I want, and that usually makes it easier. My goal is I want 10,000 agent points. That is literally what I'm about to get to. I've been on 3,000 for quite a while now, and I keep going up and down. Um, but I try to stay above 3,000, but I have to admit there's a couple of times I've gone below it. But... It's mostly because it's just something I'd like to do. I'd like to be able to say I got 10,000 agent points from AP Hunt alone. But I know it's going to take um, several weeks to do because while I am bluffing, I'm going to be using agent points. I can't stop my bluffing. I mean, if I stopped all my bluffing and I just collected agent points, it would be very quickly accumulated, really, in terms of it. But I am not. It's not that easy to do. So at the moment it's more about keeping my agent points stable. Oh, whoops, must be. And that's what I'm mostly focused on. So I mean personally if you're agent point open, I would use a browser that's pretty pretty quick. Um I wouldn't use Internet Explorer currently, personally, because I've I don't use it because it's slow. 
uh, it drives me insane, similarly. So I like to use basically one that I know is quick. And Chrome is pretty quick in those respects. I have tried out a couple of different browsers, um, but I kind of like Chrome. I like the design of Chrome, so I kind of stick with it. It might not be the fastest, but it's what I'm comfortable with. I'm yeah, probably really lay out of it. I've used Safari a little bit. So, we'll get a rough idea, I suppose, of how long it takes to go through these. Now, remember, if you don't, if you haven't seen my actual video where I explain AP hunting, you might want to go and watch that. This is literally just going to be me AP hunting. Um, as an intro, it's probably as mind numbing to watch as it is to actually do. <laughs> So, it's it's one of those things, you just kind of have to do it if you want to, if you're serious about what you want to do and you want to do it for free. So, I haven't, I've switched to using agent points for my mare blocks as well. Um, I do not breed as many foals now with that, which is a downside to it, because I like to breed a lot of foals to sort of have a good look at their genetic potential and that, and sort of compare which I think is better to another than that, but um, I do think that it has meant that I don't really have to worry so much about passes, I don't really have to worry in that respect because it's like, well I don't need to get an MA. I've actually been using my MA trades to get farming hacks. If I like win a harmony, or sorry, a MA in a promotion, I tend to go and get some harmony packs with it because I quite like it collecting GA coats and that, so I prefer to do that as opposed to anything else. Because if I'm not really using MAs, they kind of just sit there, so I prefer to trade them for other packs. Don't always, like, a, the one thing I do still use MAs for is unicorns, and that is because unicorns drive me insane, um, because I've had mares that have gone over 40. I never had a unicorn for a while. I'm pretty sure I have older ones that I've never had, but I think I give up on them at that point. I'm like, I'm never getting a unicorn out of it. So, for my unicorn breeding, I kind of do need them. Um, that's really the only thing I still use MS for. In the past, like a few years ago, I would have done MA cult blocks. I would never do that now, because I'm like, that was so wasteful. But, um, in the past, I would have done. I rarely use a chronos timer to block on this. It's a skiller. No, uh, the only thing I do do quite like doing, and I think this is quite a good thing if you want to just get like ranking points and stuff, is to go into the sales and find horses that have chronos timers that maybe haven't been trained. Preferably, probably haven't been trained, but are reasonably cheap and good enough job potential. Because you can train those up each day, and they take half the time to train that a regular horse does. Um, make sure you don't go for ones with wires though, because then it's not going to make any difference. Um, so I do that, which is pretty handy. I do actually use those for AP hunting as well. I might, if I get time, I'll possibly show you that. Um, so in that sense, they're kind of good for that. But it's kind of nice to have them because whenever I sit and I train um, horses daily, as well as using them to agent point hunt, it can get quite annoying whenever you're like using regular horses because it takes so long to get them there. Um, it could take you a good month really to get them anywhere. Substantial, so I have most of them I'm getting to this stage now where they're almost completely trained. Some of them are bolded and I think it's taken me about two months to do that. Um, most of them have been hunted every single day and trained every single day. But um, I don't do that with these horses. These horses, their only purpose is to collect major points. So, I don't worry about what happens with these ones, that's why I only claim them. If you want to know more information about that, you can go and look at my actual tutorial on agent point hunting, because that will basically tell you most of, mostly what you need to know on that. So we're getting close now to 3100, we're not too far off. I try to avoid looking to see how many I've done because then I start to get into that mindset where I'm like, oh, there's so many left to do. So I'm just going to try and not do that for a little bit. 
I think there's about almost 600 in this uh, particular models tab. I do have more, uh, but I still have to board them and I need to get more Equus, so I have to sell a few horses, I said, would say, grow some crops and stuff before I'll be able to board them all for about 60 days to get back up to about a thousand AP hunters. So, I'll probably just uh, board a few more every couple of days. There was one day that I spent, I think, a good hour or two boarding about 400. But I don't like doing them all in one go because the problem with boarding a huge amount of horses all in the space in one day is you end up with a huge amount of horses that are all on board on the same day, which is not as nice. So if I do 20 or so every day, at least, you know, I know that I'm only going to have to reboard 20 on the same day rather than 400. They're starting to get a bit stingy now with giving me these inputs, but we're getting there. So I'm just going to sort of maybe have a look once I get to 100 to see where we are roughly on this. So. Um, and one thing that I do find if you're collecting horses with philosopher's stones, and this is probably going to only make a couple of milliseconds of difference, but horses that seem to have Halo's Rise tend to seem to take a little bit longer to load than the ones with this background, because this is the, just the generic background. Now it's probably like milliseconds, like it's probably no real big deal, but whenever I'm doing so many, I'm like, every millisecond counts. So, because if it's loading the whole Halo's Rise, it sort of has to go and get that Halo's Rise, so it takes a little bit longer to load. But sometimes it doesn't make much difference, but it just makes it feel like it's going quicker whenever I am not reading the same back for now. Or whenever I have to load lots of different backgrounds. So we've reached 3100. I'm just going to have a quick look to see how many we've left to go. So, okay, we've gone through that, all of those. So we're clearly on the first page now. Okay, we're about, we're still about, I'd say 119 or so to go. So, I'll probably, well, I'll show you the horses that I train and use to hunt a little bit as well. I'll just go with the CT ones as opposed to the regular ones. Um, once I get through these, and hopefully that will show you if you want to train and age point hunt at the same time. It will take longer, it will not be as quick and as rapid as this. I mean these ones, as I've said before, are purely here to go quick. To be a high turnover for you know, little time used and stuff. Yeah. Whereas I have other horses that are more to stabilise my ranking and collect different points at the same time. I'm hoping to get to 140 with the rest of these. I think it's maybe going to be a little bit of a push, but we'll see if we can do that. Hopefully, anyway. But um, the more horses you have really available to hunt, the more chance you've got really getting vision points. And you just need to have them because it depends really, you know, if you're joining a very competitive team, you're gonna have to have the agent points available. You know, at least. And some teams aren't gonna accept people that aren't class buyers, and that's just the way some teams are, but you know, for somebody that will take on somebody who isn't class buyer, you're gonna need to have those horses available. I think I'm getting a cold at the minute because my nose is blocked. I have a sore throat today. But I'm not looking forward to it. I'm getting a cold. This is going to be one of those, well, it's not summer yet. It's going to be like a more summer ish cold. Summer cold are always worse. Anyway, I just feel worse. Right, we're almost there. Really, I know this is because I recognize some of the horses. I know, sort of know when I'm getting near the end because I recognize the horse names. 
but that was probably about 50 to 40 ago. It's closer to the end than we were a while ago. I think there might be a push to get a hole in Florida. Possibly. We're very, very lucky, but... This is why I like having Shamba, because when Shamba does decide to give you the, the bonus for the day, it's just absolutely lovely, because the agent points just roll in, instead of being really, really stingy to collect. Um, I think some people actually just wait until they have the Shamu bonus to collect. I mean, I prefer to collect every day because then I get into a habit of it and then I get on with it. Because the Shamu. Sometimes my Shamu can go for a very long time without giving me any bonus, and then sometimes I can get it like three days in a row. And those days, that's just lovely. I would actually consider having another Shamu, and probably another him Faxi, because of that. I have a big couple of days left to go my home fraction there before I have enough um, dew drops to cash in to get even votes. So. But we are definitely near the end now. So these are my some of my oldest fillers that I have that are popping up now. Horses that I've had since like 2011. These are some of the real ancient ones. You probably look at them now and not understand just how high they used to be. Oh, a bit more full. I'm just going to open up the new tab, I'll not worry about that for the moment. That's the other thing you can do is you can use your AP hunters to breed for trophy coats and stuff like that, or just to breed more fillers or AP hunters because there we go, we're at the end. So we've done all our models, that is all of them done. So if you want to see how many you've done, I'm just going to check if there's any I've missed because sometimes I do miss. So if you've not missed any, we'll check how many I've added down 540. So that's 540 AP hunters all done. So, now what we'll do is I'll just, I'm only going to show you a few because my computer is going to explode, well not explode, but it's just, it's not happy right now. I'm just going to switch this to EH instead. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this, these are horses that I was like training every single day when I was AP hunting. You can see I've molded it, so all I do with these ones, now these do get the cares. These ones aren't simply, you know, basically, you know, just groom and feed it, or sorry, just groom. These ones are cared for, so I make sure that they're looked after. So that's it, really. I'm not going to go on anymore because I don't think my computer is going to be able to handle recording the screen on it. I hope not so bad. So thank you to Maria for requesting the video, and hope I didn't bore you to death. <laughs> and hope you had a lovely day. Bye guys!